These were the default settings for Metal Gear Solid 5 Ground Zeroes. For more information about the performance on my PC, read the description of the video. I'm now going to do the PlayStation exclusive mission Deja Vu on normal using... See, there's two alternate skins you can use. I'm going to use the snake one rather than the gray fox one or the original. For this one, I'll leave the cutscenes in uh, when you're doing the... Yeah, let's just leave the cutscenes in. Let's do that. You waiting, huh? Exhalation. Boss, I've uploaded some photos to your iDroid. Use them as clues to find the locations they show, and recreate the scenes they depict. We're counting on you, Snake. Commence Deja Vu mission. Shadow Moses Island. A remote island off the coast of Alaska. <laughs> or... not. You know, your eye in the sky giving you all the intel sounds like a gigantic, dorky Metal Gear nerd in this. As usual, this is a one-man infiltration mission. Weapons and equipment OSP. This is a top-secret Black Op. Things you gotta do to get some hand grenades around here. Now with this mission, you get big bonus points for not being seen. My goal more in this is just uh, getting getting all the. You'll you'll see what I got.
died. Also, you notice on this mission, it's snowing. You know, this is supposed to be in Cuba. It does not snow in Cuba. They're trying to recreate it to be more like the classic Metal Gear Solid game. That's why they got those alternate costumes. That's why it's snowing. That's why the guards are wearing white uniforms.
I'd never seen that animation before like that. Straight up just turned him around and socked him in the face. KO. off the lights, security cameras, no problem. Yes, you recreated another scene. As long as you don't, like, destroy the surveillance camera by, like, actually shooting at it. It's all right. It'll be okay. You see, most of these, they're close to the base. Another scene recreated. Nice work. Most of these are close to the main building, but some of them are. Let me back up here. Well, actually, just one of them. The one that's really far out from the others is the tank one. The first one I got. Like, if you were trying to get all these, that would be the odd man out. Walk up and pick that up because I already took out the guards on the searchlights. This brings back some memories. Yes, you recreated another scene. If you want to finish the mission, head for the goal. I've marked it on your map. If you want to look for those other scenes, go ahead. Did all these. There's just one left. A car. The black one, the blank, uh, black screen there, that was the uh, Psycho Manus one. Almost there. Stay! Liquid! 
you know, me shooting that guy with the tranquilizer gun and him, you know, catching on that it was actually happening, I think that happened... I think that happened because they were on a heightened alert. Because I think they found a body some somewhere around uh, where the tank was. That I threw a grenade into. Somewhere around there. Because usually when you shoot at a at a guard with a train gun, they, they're clueless of what's going on. Like, they'll get hit by the tranks and they just have no idea what's happening. That's just a race to the finish. Those mice are Alaskan field mice. Uh, Cuba. No, no, they're not. Master. Snowing in Cuba. Are you Cuba. feeling okay? Not yet, Snake! It's not over yet! Impressive work, Snake. Mission complete is not what I'm here to say. Believe it or not, the real mission starts here. Huh? This is not Master Miller. Snake, you're too late. It's me, dear brother. I'm gonna ask you some questions about Metal Gear Solid 1. If you answer all of them correctly, then and only then do you truly clear this mission. However, don't expect anything in return. Your warrior's pride is riding on this. Huh? <laughs> you didn't think you made it this far by yourself, did you? But you'll have to solve the rest of this riddle yourself. These questions will test your knowledge of the original Metal Gear Solid from 1998. The difficulty level is normal. Get just one question wrong, and the mission is over. There are no continues, my friend. Don't even think about looking up the answers online, or I'll know. Ready? Let's take it. Here we go. Snake! Now, to do this, you have to ke you have to recreate every scene in that mi that past mission I just did to be able to do this. Uh, infiltrated Shadow Moses. Correct. Question? That was the Nikita. Correct. Question? You call Mei Ling. Correct. You're pretty good. Question? They're given gene therapy. I was like, uh, gene therapy in Metal Gear Solid. It was like they took. Actually, I think they took like the best, uh, some of the best uh, genes from Big Boss and you know Solid Snake, and they like infused that into soldiers to make them better soldiers. That that's what gene therapy was. It was like pretty much taking the genes of Big Boss and somehow infusing them into other soldiers. Pretty sure that's what gene therapy was. Correct. But it was Question. supposed to be. Which floor of the nuclear warhead storage building was Otacon's lab located? Now, the first time I did this, I got it wrong. I didn't remember this. I thought it was the third, but I'm pretty sure it was, it's the second. Correct. There should be a cakewalk in here. What was the Cyborg Ninja's true identity? That was Frank Yeager. Correct. Great Question. Box. He was a, uh, a dog musher, yeah. Correct. I'm, I'm glad you remember. Question. 
here's another tricky one. Now, some of these you can really rule, rule out. In Metal Gear Solid, there's this part where you have to ride a freight elevator and it's mysteriously not working and the reason why it's not working is because there's too many people in the elevator and the reason you don't see them is because they're using Otacon spare uh, stealth suits and there's like an extra four or five people in there with you and you gotta fight them. It's almost like a little mini boss section. So how much would five or six people weigh? Probably you know, under a thousand pounds, you know, so couldn't be three tons, it's not three people, 30 ravens, that's stupid, 30, 300 grams, that's like nothing, so pretty much it would be one of these three, and if you played the game, you would definitely know it's not three people, and three tons is too much, it was, it was 300 kilograms. Correct. If you think you'll get the answer out of me, forget it. There isn't even any sodium pentothal here. Question! Which type of storage media did the arms tech president give Snake? Uh, I think his name was Baker. It was... See, flash drives... They probably would have used flash drives in Metal Gear Solid, but that wasn't even in the foreseeable future in you know when they were making the game i guess when kojima was writing it you know that wasn't even a thing in the future that he could see but i think realistically they're, I, i'm pretty sure governments secret james bond spy people they were probably using flash drives usb flash drives back in 98 99 but, uh, Baker gave Snake an optic disc. Optical disc. Correct. You've got quite a memory. Now for the final question. Let's finish this. Have at you, Snake. Question. What is the title of the ending theme? Calling to the Night. Now that... I'm trying to think, was that a song in Metal Gear Solid 2? I know Snake Eater was obviously the title from Snake Eater. I have no idea what these first two songs, but I know the best is yet to come. That's like that dramatic Eskimo song they play at the end of the first one, where they do like some, some crappy, compressed FMV PlayStation-style cutscene at the end. And you can't skip it. You can't skip it. Correct. Most impressive. All correct. Excellent job. But there are no more special bonuses, which makes me wonder. Why are you here then? Why do you continue to answer questions while your memory betrays you? You enjoy taking quizzes. That's why. And I like giving them. Thank you. Fox! Fox die. So much fan service in here. So the man does live up to the legend. You're pretty good. Just what I'd expect from the man with the same code as the boss. Onward to the Xbox exclusive mission, Jamais Vous. There are pronunciation dictionaries that you can go to to look up French words. It's not Jamais Vous, it's Jamais Vous. Opposite of deja vu. Boss, we got an urgent request to investigate unusual activity at the U.S. Naval facility in Cuba. 
According to our man in the CIA, they lost all contact with the base shortly after a Soviet commuter jet crashed into the coast nearby. But the strange thing is that when comms were restored 24 hours later, the only message received was, conditions normal, and that was it. The plane's at the bottom of the ocean now, but before it sank, someone, something, escaped the wreckage and made it to shore. The Pentagon's assessment jives with the intel from our on-site informant. Signs indicate that the base has been taken over by some unknown entity. Intelligent beings that attack people and steal their identities. That's right, boss. Body snatchers. The mission we've been given is to exterminate any and all snatchers occupying the site. Now I know what you're thinking. Legendary hero or not, these things aren't exactly your jurisdiction. But we've got a secret weapon. A man from another world. A dark, distant future. A man made into a war machine with no human body for those bastards to snatch. As payment, all we need to do is hand over the XOF badges you've gathered on your missions. Send the target's predicted field of movement to your iDroid. Eliminate the snatchers posing as Marines, and neutralize all human survivors. You can dis- Someone's there. Try marking him. Is he human, or one of them? Feel him out. not quite right about him. Interrogate him. Find out what he knows. from another world? Robots built using... What is that? No mistake, that's a snatcher. Eliminate it. Nice work. Take care of the next one.
Survivors neutralized. The analysis can wait. We need to get you out of there. I'm sending a chopper to pick you up. Wait for it at the helipad. and that's there.
for a searchlight. Eliminate that one first.